Impact Productions, a multi-layer technology company providing on-site, online, and in-studio video services. Contact Impact Productions to capture your story. Hey y'all, welcome to the show. Today we're gonna make Apple Crisp. Mouthwatering family recipes, easy to make meals, humor and faith fill the inspiring show Dano on the Counter. Born with only half a spine, Dano Burkhardt was never supposed to be able to hold his head up. Despite countless surgeries, a stroke, leg amputations and kidney transplants, Dano developed a contagious love for life. Join Dano as he shares his easy-to-make dishes and the hope that keeps him pushing forward. For apple crisps, you're going to need 10 cups of sliced apples, 1 cup of white sugar, 1 tablespoon of flour, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, half a cup of water, 1 cup of quick oats, 1 cup of flour, 1 cup of brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a half cup of melted butter. Hey y'all, so I just want to go over a couple things about how I drive. I get a lot of questions on Facebook about how my vehicle works. So I just want to run through that real quick and show you guys how that, how I do all that. So what I have here is a hand control device that's attached to my brake and my gas pedal. And this lever here for the gas, I just press down on it. And then when I want to brake, I just push it in. So that when I'm cruising down the road, I can just throttle it up a little bit. And then when I come and I want to slow down and come to a stop sign or a stoplight, I just press in here and that stops the car. So I still have the normal pedals like everybody else, but I just use this hand control here to reach the pedals with my hand. Hey y'all, welcome back here. It's uh, so great to be back for the fall here. Uh, it's been a little hiatus here. A lot going on obviously uh, this last spring and uh, in summer, but so excited to be back to share with you guys some awesome recipes and to uh, you know, encourage you guys in your faith, obviously, and uh, encourage everybody by what I've gone through these last few months. Uh, it has been a crazy, crazy spring and summer, but, uh, but God has been great to me and brought me through a lot. And uh, I'm just excited to share those stories with you of what these last few months have been like. And uh, just so excited that all of you guys are back watching the show. Uh, I know that I, I've heard from a lot of people uh, reach out to me on online or uh, they'll see me out and about uh, it's so encouraging to me that people are watching the show they're taking different things from it uh, you know starting off with the show we didn't really know what it was going to turn into but to have people come up to you and say hey you know this message that you brought the other day that really encouraged me or hey that recipe that you shared oh i'm going to try that or i tried that tried that and my family thought that was great you know that, that's a real encouragement to me and and that's really why we do this show, is to uh, encourage everyone, show everybody that, hey, you know, no matter what situations you're going through, that you can uh, overcome them all. Um, obviously, with the uh, great power of God behind us, we can do uh, mighty and great things. And, uh, and he's done that in my life, and that's hopefully what uh, people are taking away from this show. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but, if, uh, you know, we changed Jeeps since the last uh, season that we aired. Uh, I got a new one now. And, you know, a lot of people wonder about how that all works with the hand controls. And we showed you how that works. But now, you know, obviously, you know, how does that happen when you buy a new car? Well, luckily for me, there's a place over in Johnstown that, that does that for me, does all the modifications. Um, I just need to give them my car for about a day. They're able to install the hand controls for me and, uh, and give me my independence. I, I, you know, it's something that, you know, I'm really grateful for since I was like 15, I was able to drive and, and learn how to uh, be independent. And, you know, having a car and being able to go out and do things on your own is, is so vital to that independence. And, uh, and, you know, and to be able to have those, every vehicle that I've ever had, to have the hand controls put in that uh, really helps me, you know, gain that independence and, and get where I need to go. Obviously getting back and forth to work, but, you know, getting out in, on, the, on the town and get out and see people and things like that. I'm uh, very fortunate that I'm, you know, I still have the strength to be able to lift myself and lift my chair and everything into the car. Where you know a lot of people that you know have our quads and paras, sometimes they can't do that. You know they have to use vans and lifts and and things like that, or they may not have the ability to drive. 
even though technology is changing daily um, and getting better and better, so more people are able to drive. The assistive devices um, that they have now are amazing, um, where people are almost driving just with a simple arm movement or a, you know, a head movement, which is, which is remarkable um, that, that that's able to happen. Uh, you know, it's just uh, as technology changes, as AI changes, things like that, uh, more things are becoming available to people with disabilities, which I think is awesome. It's also been part of, you know, the, my platform that I feel that uh, it's a unique situation that I'm able to speak about and talk about. Um, you know, when I was younger, I thought it was more of a disadvantage, but now as you get older, it's more of an advantage that you get to speak about things, help people, point people in the right direction on where they can find things and do things. Um, and as you get older, that's so so much more rewarding, um, more than I ever thought it was ever gonna be. So to be in this position to share with people and to, to help them out in any way that I can is, is really rewarding. All right, so on today's show, we're gonna make some apple crisp. Pretty easy, simple recipe. Just need a couple ingredients. We're gonna get some flour, some sugar, some cinnamon. We're gonna get our apples from our buddy, Ben Boyer out there at Boyer Orchards out in New Paris. Um, they always have great apples, great produce, and great uh, products every fall. Uh, I got some peaches earlier this year. Now we're gonna go out and get some apples. But what a great fall dessert to uh, have some apple crisp and some vanilla ice cream. So let's uh, get shopping. For apple crisp, we're gonna need a lot of sugar, obviously, to make those apples taste great. Get them sweetened up with some brown sugar. And then we're gonna need some regular sugar and a little bit of flour to dust them off. And then we're gonna get some oats to make that nice crust on top. So we've got some brown sugar. Then we're gonna need just some regular granulated sugar. Make those apples nice and sweet. All right, to get that true apple pie flavor in our apple crisp, we're gonna need some cinnamon. We're gonna add that with our sugar, and our flour, and our oats. Put it on top, make that nice crust, that awesome apple pie flavor that you, that you want in the fall. Gotta have the cinnamon. All right, for our apple crisp topping, just gonna need some oats here that we're gonna mix up with that sugar to put on top. So quick oats, you just need about a cup. That's all we need. Well, we got everything we need for our apple crisp already here at the store. We just need to get the apples that we got from uh, Boyer Orchards, and then we're just gonna head home. We're gonna slice them up and peel them, and then throw all this all together, put it in the oven. It's gonna take about 30 minutes, and we're gonna have a nice, delicious apple crisp. Hey, so we're just uh, heading back from the grocery store here. It was uh, <laughs> an amazing trip today. Running into a lot of people that uh, I knew, a lot of relatives, and. Uh, you know, we're filming this show. Of course, it draws a little bit of attention, but you know, it's neat to see people come up to you and say hi and say, oh, are you filming your show, you know? And uh, people that watch it and recognize me. Uh, it is pretty neat that to see people in the area that are really gravitating towards the show and really appreciate the show. And uh, it, it's pretty neat. I know being a local uh, you know, person on TV and, and having a small community that we have in, in Altoona that, uh, you know, I'm sure everybody goes into the grocery store on the weekends and runs into people they know. Uh, you know, it's one of those things you kind of run into people and got a quick 
you know, catch up somebody you haven't seen in several months. Uh, you can stand there in the aisle and hopefully not block exactly what we need because there was a lot of people doing that to us today. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, the grocery store, what a place that uh, everybody just kind of comes back and uh, everybody's got to eat, right? So everybody's got to get groceries. So it's a, uh, it's a real, real neat area that everybody can come and, uh, and run into each other. Like I said, you, you know, you might not have seen somebody, but you know, a lot of people hadn't heard about mom and things like that. I had questions about that. But, uh, you know, being able to share with people, you know, what, what we've been through and, and how it affects other people by what your story is and how your story impacts others just by a little three minute conversation at the grocery store can, uh, can still have an impact on people. So it is pretty neat everywhere you go. There's always opportunities to share your faith and what, what God has brought you through, um, even if it's just buying uh, some oats and some apples. Your value is not determined by where you are in life right now. Your label cannot keep you from Jesus. It should drive you to Jesus. God never intended you to live on a bridge. There are times and seasons in your life that are a bridge from A to C, and we make a home on a bridge and we wonder why it went bad. I want to encourage you to join us every Sunday here on ABC at 5 a.m. and 12 p.m. You can also catch the archive of our messages by visiting transformationchurch.org. Transformation Church, it's who we are, it's what we do. Sun business that produces high quality handmade wooden products such as cutting boards, bowls, bottle stoppers and more. Products for sale can be found on their Etsy site or in downtown Altoona at the Clay Cup. You can't go wrong buying from Made by Vogel. Hi, my name is Stad Dick. And I'm Aiden. We're the fifth generation of Dick's Home Care. And our family is here for your health. Purify 03 is the simple, effective way to clean your CPAP or BiPAP. It provides hospital-grade sanitation, killing 99.99% .99 of bacteria and germs with the touch of a button. Everything you need comes in one affordable kit for just $1.90. It's available exclusively at Dick's Home Care, Central Pennsylvania's leader in home medical equipment. Hi, my name is Stad Dick. And I'm Aiden. We're the fifth generation of Dick's Home Care. And our family is here for your help. If you're looking for a stair lift, I would definitely recommend Bruno Stair Lifts. The reason people get Bruno Stair Lifts from Dick's Home Care is it keeps them in the home that they love. We also have a rental program on the stair lifts. My customers coming back to me saying, I'm so glad I bought this. Dick's Home Care, Central Pennsylvania's leader in mobility products. Hey everybody, welcome into my kitchen today. Today we're gonna make a nice fall dessert apple crisp. Now this is my first time ever making it myself, but I've enjoyed this at many uh, festivals and at many people's homes in the fall. Um, I have a beautiful golden delicious apples here that we're gonna slice and peel. I got this handy dandy apple core slicer thingamabob here that we got on Amazon. It's uh, of course my favorite color blue. And this makes quick work of our apples. We're gonna do about 10 cups, which is about 10 medium-sized apples. So let's get going here because we're gonna have to do quite a few of these. Don't mess it up, Dana. Going the wrong way. All right, so we have our apples here. We're running through our apple core and slicer. We're gonna take it off of here, and then we're just gonna run our knife through it just to make half slices here. And then we're gonna put them in our dish and just make a thin layer all the way down our pan. And this makes nice uniform apple slices. Let's see if we can get another one here. It'll work properly for us. Our 
apple on. And we'll run her through. And it'll make nice even slices, peels it, and cores it. Just like that. Take that off. We'll cut it in half. It makes good even slices there for our apple crisp. And then you can dice these too. You can cut them another time, make them smaller. But I think slices work out pretty well because they're nice and thin. So we'll go ahead and continue to do all these apples so we got a good thick layer, about 10 apples. No, that should be good. All right, so we have our apples all sliced and peeled and cored. Um, I just cut them in half and I put them in our nine by 13 baking dish. So to this mixture, I've added cinnamon and white sugar and a tablespoon of flour. I'm just mixing this all together. We're just gonna put a thin coat on each of the uh, apples here. We're just gonna spread this evenly and then kind of toss it in there with, with the apples. I have that in there and just kind of coat all the apples and that cinnamon sugar. Just give them a nice coat there. That's really going to caramelize those apples when we put them in the oven. We just give them a nice little Gentle toss. Looks pretty good. And then for our topping, we have our bowl here. We have a half a cup of melted butter. Let me just zap that in the microwave for a couple seconds. To that, we're going to add our oats. One cup of oats. And then we're gonna add a cup of flour. Some brown sugar. And then baking powder. And baking soda. And we're just gonna toss this all together real quick. And it's going to be a little lumpy, and that's what you want. Once it all comes together, it makes like little sugar balls with the, the butter nice and clumpy together. Then we're going to spread it on top. It's going to be really good. All that sugar. This is definitely not diet friendly, but it is going to be good. And then when you put ice cream on top of it, it's even better. Now this is one of those that I probably wouldn't make too far in advance because it doesn't take that long to make. So I would go ahead and make it, you know, like half an hour before you serve it. You don't want it to get soggy. You don't want the apples to turn into mush. You want your apples still to be firm a little bit of crunch to them when you bite into them. So that looks pretty good. See how that nice and clumpy together. And then I'm just gonna take it, straighten these out a little bit, try to make it flat as much as you can. And then I'm just gonna put this on top, spread this out on top. And then we're gonna throw it in the oven at 425 just till it's nice and golden brown melts all those sugars because there's a lot of sugar in here but it's a good quick and easy after dinner snack something you can pop in the oven when you get home from work the apples really take the longest part of the whole thing but with that new process it goes pretty quick that looks pretty good 
pretty amazed at myself here. That actually looks edible to me. All right, we're gonna pop this in the oven and uh, we're gonna head over to the studio for an inspirational message. Hi, my name is Thad Dick. And I'm Aiden. We're the fifth generation of Dick's Home Care. And our family is here for your help. If you're considering a lift chair, call or stop in and see us at Dick's Home Care. Our chairs come in a wide variety of fabrics and finishes. We even have chairs that are able to be closer to your wall in case you have a small space. Dick's Home Care, Central Pennsylvania's leader in mobility products. When it's time for a new roof, Champion Roofing is your best choice. We're a certified award-winning roofing contractor, meaning your roof is done right the first time. Call today. Champion Roofing, we're the solution. Hey y'all, welcome to the studio today. Today I want to share with you a story and a little bit about my life and how you can remain resilient. Uh, it's something that always people come up to me and say, you know, how have you been able to get through so many things in your life and have this great attitude? Uh, how do you remain calm and excited and have that joy in your life uh, through everything that you've been through? And, uh, and really, it is something that I have learned ever since I was a little kid from my parents growing up um, through all the adversity that I've ever had to go through uh, in, in life and in, in relationships and in uh, medical issues and everything that I've had to overcome. Um, just one thing led to another where you are just building on your faith um, that, you know, in James it talks about consider it all joy, all these trials that you have to go through. Uh, there are so many trials that I could talk about. Many of you know many of them, but um, from the time that I was a young kid and had my legs amputated, obviously that was a devastating thing and, and trying to overcome that to, uh, you know, kids in school and it being rough with me. And then and when you get older and you have uh, tough relationships and things like that, you're like, how am I ever going to get through these things? How, how am I, when is enough going to be enough? And, and when am I going to catch a break? You know, I think in life so many times we are sitting there and we are just... Uh, overwhelmed by circumstance and things that, that happen in our life and the trials that come our way. But I tell you what, every time that you go through a trial and you get actually through it, um, it just really builds your character and your faith every time. Uh, I can remember as a, as a young kid, uh, you know, just, you know, sports teams not being picked for teams and having bad days and, and you know, that really builds your character up as you get older, uh, looking back on those things that, you know, uh, things that were tough and difficult make you stronger, right? Um, and that's what the Bible talks about, is uh, considering it joy, those trials build your faith. Um, you know, God gets you through those tough times so that you can reflect back and say, hey, you know, look at what God has brought me through. Um, so many examples in my life, I'm sure everybody has those times in your life where you just, uh, like I said, you come, become overwhelmed, uh, but you look back at the things that where God has brought you from, and it's how exciting that is, and that's where that joy comes from, um, from where God has really brought you to. Uh, you know, I'm 42 years old now, uh, you know, have a great job, have many, so many things to be thankful for uh, in life that I look back and I'm like, wow, that, that is amazing that I've been through so many things. But it is it's awesome to look back and say, hey, God has really brought me through so many great things as well. And now I can share those things with you. And, uh, and that's what I really hope that people are getting from this show is that they are learning that, hey, these tough times are, are building your strength, building your faith to, to get you through to the next thing that God has for you and that you are sharing your story with other people. Um, and it's so important to share your faith. Um, obviously, maybe not with a te television show, but hey, you might be having somebody in your in your office or in your family that's going through a tough time, and you can say, hey, you know, I've been through that too. Uh, you know, God has brought me through uh, so many things that I want to share with you guys, um, that I want to show that God is in control of my life. And, uh, you know, God talks about how you can do so many things if you just put your faith, faith in Him. Um, that God is uh, always with you. He's never going to leave you or forsake you. Um, how important is that uh, to rely on when you're going through a difficult time? Uh, I know when I was sick and I was waiting for my transplant and I was waiting three years. So as I was waiting for that kidney transplant and I was going through those difficult roller coaster of emotions of how I was going to get through things and where God was leading me, you know, that is when I really looked back and said, hey, you know, Hey, God's promises to me that he wasn't going to leave me, that he is my strength, right? If we just rely on him, he's going to help us get through those difficult times. And that is, that is what, uh, 
you know, my purpose, I think, in life is obviously that uh, God has brought me through so many things to be able to share with everyone now and, and everybody I meet on the street, you know, everybody I meet at work. Uh, you know, they see me just pushing a wheelchair and they're like, wow, that is, that's amazing how this guy has this great attitude still being in a wheelchair and, you know, not having his legs or what have you. Um, you know, that is all the character and the, the things that God has brought me through and taught me to rely on him. Uh, that is so important in my life that uh, now that I'm older, I can share those things with you and uh, encourage you that, hey, you know, God is uh, not promise you an, an easy road. That is for sure. There's going to be difficult times, but he is asking us to rely on him, uh, to put your faith in him, that he has direction, he has purpose in everything that he's putting you through. Uh, not that he is there as, as a, you know, like with little strings just saying, hey, you know, let's, let's put this in front of Dando and see how he does. I don't think he challenges you uh, in that way. But there are difficult times in life. But if you rely on him, he's going to help you get through that. And that's what I hope I'm sharing with you uh, every day in my life. Not just, uh, you know, on the show and, and different stories that I'm sharing with you. But every day I'm smiling and, uh, and I'm able to uh, share joy. That that joy comes from Christ uh, and what he's done in my life. So I want to encourage you guys that today. That, hey, be patient. You know, God is with you. He's not going to leave you. Uh, he's going to help you get through those difficult times. But also on the other end, once you get through them, it's so important to share those stories, share your faith with others. That's why God has given you those examples is to show your faith and how God has brought you through those difficult times. Uh, my life is just one big journey of, of faith and what God has done. And I hope that I'm able to share what God has done. It's not me. It's not nothing that I've done. It's nothing that uh, that I've sought and thought of that um, I'm just sitting here thinking, oh, wow, if I just think my way through it, I can get through it. It's not that at all. It's because of what God has done in my life and the attitude that he's given me and the faith and encouragement through the things I've been through before. So I hope that encourages you today to rely on God always. Put your faith in him and he's going to get you through those difficult times, but also share your faith with others and the things that he's brought you through. So let's head back into the kitchen. Let's enjoy some nice food. Hey y'all, welcome to the dining room here. We have our apple crisp straight out of the oven. We put some ice cream with it, homemade vanilla. And uh, I don't know guys, it smells delicious. So let's dive in and, and give it a whirl here. Wow. That is really good. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. Yeah. What a way to end the day. <laughs> How about it? Pie. Oh, yeah. It's just like apple pie. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I tell you what, that's pretty easy to make too. Especially with that peeler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not a couple fumbles with it, but <laughs> figured it out. A nice streusel on top there is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully you guys can try that quick and easy. Um, apple crisp here <laughs> and try it with a little ice cream once you heat it up take it out of the oven hopefully you can uh, you can try this at home but i appreciate you watching the show we'll see you next week on dano on the counter mm -hmm.